Hey everyone, Chandler here from School of Trade. Today we're going to be taking a look at a flag pattern breakout here on the gold. Now, gold has been catching some pretty nice movement this morning, but we caught this little bit of a flag that we had here. Let's get the stop and target in place here, and then we'll talk about the setup. So going long, four contracts. First target getting taken out here at 1144.6. And we're going to take two contracts there. And then the final target coming off at 1149.3, we're going to take two more off right there. Now, basically what we've been seeing all morning here really is just a really, really strong rip higher. If we zoom out, you can really kind of put that into perspective here. And we haven't really stopped, right? I mean, if we draw a kind of a, a larger channel through here, uh, you can see they're coming back to that same area over and over and over again. And now ahead of making a, a really strong new high, we have a little bit of a flag that's pulling back. Now, for me, I like being a little bit more conservative. So you'll notice that my flag is drawn from this low instead of the overall low. Depending on how you're drawing it, this could give you pretty drastically different targets. I always like to take the more conservative approach. I figure it gets my targets filled a little bit sooner. Yeah, you're going to miss some of the, the massive runners, but, you know, the one runner that I miss, I make nine winning trades. So in, in terms of that, I'm a little bit happier taking the conservative approach. So my flag is measured from the low at 38.9 uh, up to the high and then back down to the flag low. Now, we haven't broken out yet, but what's really piquing my interest is how weak these candles are getting. You can see it's almost like there's a shelf here, right? You can see price coming down, testing, 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 and now we're looking for the breakup, right? They're kind of finding a little bit of a balance, if you will, around 40.7 or so, and we're playing off of that. We're seeing that drastic weakness, especially on that last bear candle there, really showing us that the buyers want to try to take back over again and break this flag out. And that's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing the flag break out here. Now, for me, because I drew my flag on the more conservative approach, I'm going to be taking two contracts off at first, two contracts off at second. If you were drawing it more aggressively, I would honestly like to take three off at first and then one off at second, because your final target, if you're drawing it off of this low, is going to be significantly higher looking for a big run. Doesn't mean it's not going to get hit, but being a little bit more aggressive on that first target makes a little bit more sense because you're taking and kind of stacking your profit in that one place, allowing still room for for a final runner. But because we're being a little bit more conservative, we can take our first target off with two contracts at 44.6. And we're looking at that area coming off for 30 ticks at that target. So two off there is 60 ticks. If we do get that runner all the way back up here at 49.3, we're looking at 77 ticks to 144 just on what we're seeing here with just two contracts, right? Let alone the other six that you made on the earlier one. So everything is looking really, really strong to the upside. We're seeing that continuation coming right back in on gold, and we're seeing that bullish pressure really continue. Once we get that first target at 44.6, stop and go to break even just like normal. I'm not really anticipating, based on how large this breakout is, I'm not anticipating them wanting to come back and test that flag like you would normally see. So if you are concerned about that, though, you can lock your stop underneath here to give them room for that test and then bounce higher. But based on the breakout that we're seeing right now, especially if this closes near its highs, we're just, yeah, they close near its highs too. We're not really seeing any reason to be concerned about them pulling all the way back just for the retest. We've gone too far now. So because because of that, once we get the first target filled at 44.6, we'll lock the stop in at 41.6, maybe 41.7.8, somewhere in there, and then look for the final target runner all the way up to 49.3. So we'll see if we can get that first target first, lock in our stop, and then we'll gun for that next target back up at 44.6. All right, there we go. Big smack through the highs. We got that target filled, 1144.6. Uh, and again, that was a front run target ahead of that 1144.9, uh, primarily just because it just sort of makes sense. Now, this is the conservative area. Uh, if you're looking for a larger target, your targets probably haven't been hit yet. They're, they're going to be a little bit higher up. Uh, but our targets are taken out. Again, we're going to go to break even plus one. I'm not really too concerned about seeing this come all the way back down just to get a retest. It seems relatively unlikely at this point, considering how far we've shot up. Uh, so everything looking really, really strong back to the upside. We've got our targets filled at 44.6, just ahead of that 44.9. Now we're looking to hang on, see how long we can hold on, get that 49.3, can lock in 77 more ticks per contract, give us a beautiful runner to the upside if we can get that filled. So we'll give it a little bit of time. It'll probably take a little bit longer than a little bit of time considering, you know, five minute chart and we're looking for a move that 77 ticks away on a day that's already moved in normal days of movement, right? So this could be hours before we see this next target filled, but stops at break even, and we'll see if we can get that last one filled.
All right, we're seeing prices come back and they're balancing out here. I'm going to add one more contract up here, looking at 1145.4. Uh, just because we came back, we tested that 100%, which was from earlier, and we're finding a lot of support here. It's another kind of shelf, if you will, uh, from what we're seeing. Now, because we're entering in up here, uh, that's going to kind of throw our position off. But just understand, we're entering one more at 45.4. Taking it off still at the same place, that's going to add another 39 ticks. We'll take three off there. And because of that, we're going to lock the stop in nice and tight underneath that. I don't want to see this low taken out, right? I don't want to see this low taken out uh, underneath this little shelf that formed here at 44.4. So stop will get locked in here. If it does pull back and stop us out, this entry here will take a small loss, but the other ones will take a nice win, uh, which will just kind of balance out, right? 27 ticks on the win and then, you know, uh, minus what? Minus 8? Minus 11? Yeah, so it, it'll average out really nicely, but this adds a little bit more to our compounding move back to the upside and it adds another 39 ticks. So if we get this one filled, we're stacking another 40 bucks on it risking 10 right that's that's kind of the mentality that we're approaching here and based on what we're seeing right now price is really really supporting more long side action and we're getting a lot of bullishness really stacking up here looking for another move up primarily the big reason why i like this is we had the bears come in with a big old aggressive candle right huge bear candle and where did they stop right back on that level again right beautiful little small inside bar reduces your risk uh, because it gets your entry a little bit closer and we're basically nullifying all the sellers right here to me this is is just profit taking that's all you're seeing right there uh, so it doesn't bother me at all to add one more contract on here we can stack another one on see if we can pull another 40 ticks out of the move but overall uh, outside of that quick little update here we're just waiting for another push back up to 49.3 we're getting close we are getting close uh, we've been in this one for quite a while right we're going on about an hour now and this is kind of to be expected but everything looking good. We'll give it a little bit more time, see if we can get that 49.3. All right, huge ride higher. Got that target filled, 1149.3. Nice little pop that we had there, and that kind of soaked up that extra contract that we added up. Uh, another nice little portion on there, 39 ticks on that final ride higher. Beautiful little addition to the trade, but overall just a gorgeous move. This is what we were looking for. It just took its sweet time, right? We're going on 1030. It hasn't been that long since the last update, but that being said, you know, getting into the trade earlier here back at 9, 10, 9, 15 or so, we knew this one was going to take a little bit of time. But as the markets always tell us, they pay for patience. That's for sure. We're getting a lot of payment for waiting out that move. And we got our targets filled, 49.3. Now, the overall move... Uh, in total, if you add it all up, two off at 30, that's 60, two off at 77, that's 144, and another 39, that final little add-on that we had there, gives us 253 ticks to the upside on just a beautiful rip up uh, on that flag breakout. Gorgeous move, 2,500 bucks, 2,530 if you want to get particular about the last $30 there. But So that's going to do it for gold. Uh, beautiful move up. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. Don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com, and as always... Catch you next time.